The NFL is expected to begin training camp around July 28th, so we're beginning our camp battle series here for the New Orleans Saints, starting with QB2, Taysom Hill, or Jameis Winston. These are the Canal Street Chronicles. So already a very popular discussion underway before we even get to training camp beginning should everything begin as we expect it to and hope that it does at the end of July. But one of the biggest storylines that you're going to hear once training camp does open up is that of the QB2 battle, Taysom Hill, Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston coming in this offseason on a 1.1 million dollar base contract. There's incentives and everything that can help it boost up a little bit more. But outside of that, he's really just in New Orleans trying to get better as a quarterback. But that doesn't mean that the Saints won't be seriously looking at him as a potential successor to Drew Brees. Now, of course, Taysom Hill's got the contract right. He's up for 16 million dollars just over next year in the 2021 season. So all signs in terms of following the money seem to point toward Taysom Hill being the guy in terms of being the one that takes over for Drew Brees at Signal Caller once Drew Brees has retired. I don't know about y'all, but I expect that 2020 is going to be his final season. So whoever it ends up being that's going to take over for Drew Brees, the Saints essentially have a year to get this figured out where they feel most comfortable. So let's start the conversation here on the Canal Street Chronicles talking a little bit about Taysom Hill Jameis Winston. Now, it's pretty clear that you have two big delineations between these two guys, right? Taysom Hill, somebody that is a bit more of a runner. We know he can run. We know that he can catch. We know that he can do the special teams thing. But can he be an efficient and effective passer? This is a guy that's only completed six passes so far over his uh, regular season career with New Orleans Saints, but looked pretty good this past preseason in 2019. Certainly a better showing than his 2018 preseason and then a much better showing than his collegiate days at BYU. So we see some steady progress in him, but is that enough to go ahead and say, hey, you're going to be the guy here after Drew Brees? The big thing that does speak to Taysom Hill's favor is that he's been with the system already going into now his third year. And yes, he's played a lot of special teams and ancillary roles that are outside of that of quarterback, but still we've now heard both Pete Carmichael and Joe Lombardi talk about specific places where Taysom Hill has improved his game. Pete Carmichael Michael talked about his play calling, which of course, calling plays in the New Orleans Saints system is no easy task as they go the full West Coast string of, you know, stringing together this route, that route, this formation, the hop, all this other stuff that goes into it. And on top of that, they do kill calls in the huddle too. So they're calling two of those plays in most huddles. So you see that Taysom Hill is getting complimented on his ability to be able to manage that part of the game. So that's the mental side of the game. And then Joe Lombardi, just a few days ago, last week, when he was interviewing and talking with New Orleans media, mentioned mentioned that Taysom Hill has gotten better at getting the ball out sooner. So a specific technical thing and a specific mental side in terms of where it is that he's been able to progress so far noticeably within the New Orleans Saints organization. So is he going to be able to continue to improve over the preseason, over training camp, over even during practices? Because of course, Drew Brees is going to be taking Wednesdays off, I believe Sean Payton said. So does that end up giving them some more time to work with Taysom and get more comfortable with him as a quarterback, even though during the season, he's going to have to split focus as a receiver, as a runner, as a blocker, and all the other things that he does very, very well. But how do you feel about that guy becoming your next starting quarterback? Is there enough time to develop him, to continue to get him to the place where you are comfortable with that? Or do you go with a guy that's maybe a little bit less familiar with the system? And here's the big delineation. Jameis Winston, not so familiar with the system, but has years as a starting quarterback in the NFL. The moment that he came into the NFL, he became the starter for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And now, of course, his big focus is getting better as a quarterback. So can he do that with New Orleans? They've already complimented him a ton when it comes to all of the work that he's doing outside of the field. Obviously, they're meeting via Zoom conferences and WebEx conferences, but he's asking questions. He's understanding. He's able to point things out himself that he needs to improve. So they've had a lot of time to go over the tape. Now it's all about transitioning all of that and translating it onto the field once that time comes. So are you more comfortable with a guy that's maybe a little bit less familiar with your system, but has more experience as a starting quarterback in the NFL? Or are you more comfortable with a guy that maybe doesn't have that starting experience, but is more familiar with your individual system? And which one of these guys can really thrive in Sean Payton's system? Do you want somebody that is athletic, but a little bit more of a, you know, I'm going to sit in the pocket and I'm going to throw the ball and I can gun it deep because I have an arm as big as Texas, Jameis Winston? Or do you really like the idea of what Sean Payton will be able to drum up with a guy like Taysom Hill who can run and do all of the other things that he does as well. So 
lots to figure out here in terms of, you know, which one is going to be able to improve more than the other, which one is going to show more promise than the other, and which one is going to fit the system a little bit more than the other. And you have to imagine that when it comes to system fit, if Jameis Winston can learn all of it and improve his game and progress as they hope that he will in his development time in New Orleans, that he might be the most immediate plug-in guy for the style that this offense has already been created in terms of what has, what's been made for Drew Brees. There's no doubt that between Jameis Winston and Taysom Hill, Jameis is a little bit more of the guy that's going to stand in the pocket and deliver the ball. It's just about making sure that he makes the right decisions with it and that he doesn't get too risky in the way that he plays. If he's more comfortable to throw to the check down guy, you know, the guy out the backfield or the take the short, you know, three yard gain to the tight end the way that Drew Brees would. Can you get him to that place where you're comfortable with his decision making process and his ability to work under pressure to where you can plug him immediately into a system that already fits that style? Or do you revamp the style and build around a guy like Taysom Hill, who has extraordinary athleticism and who to be completely honest with you, has been one of the biggest pieces in terms of creating momentum for the Saints team since he got involved, even when he was just in special teams. You look at the Minnesota game and the wild card loss, he was the best part of the team when it came to that game. He, you know, threw the block for Alvin Kamara that got him into the end zone after a big run and after throwing a 50 yard bomb to Deontay Harris. And then you saw him catch a touchdown later on in that game as well. He was absolutely the best player on the field during that game, or at least it felt like it for that Saints offense that was a little more stagnant than we had seen the December prior when Drew Brees threw 15 touchdowns, no interceptions, and 1,100 yards over that time. So are you more akin to want to keep Taysom Hill in that kind of role? Is he willing to remain in that kind of role? We know he wants to be a starting quarterback, but what is the reality of uh, what the Saints are able to do here? So lots of decisions to make. I certainly can't make one at this point without seeing these guys on the field, and hopefully we're going to be able to get a good look at them during training camp, during the preseason, and hopefully during practices all throughout the year, and then figure out when it is that they're ready to make this decision in terms of who's going to be the successor after Drew Brees, but they need to start off with figuring out which one of these guys is going to be QB2 going into 2020. So tell us in the comments below who it is that you think should be the official quarterback two behind Drew Brees. Is it the ever athletic and Swiss army knife? Not at all a gimmick, not at all a gadget player in Taysom Hill, or is it the former Tampa Bay Buccaneers starter and number one overall pick Jameis Winston after some time to develop? Which one do you feel like you're ready to ride with? And we'll see exactly how it works out once training camp gets underway. 